hello traders welcome to my recap session today we're going to be looking at the ES 1000 volume charts from the last Friday actually the 25th of the 9th or for my American friends the 9th 25 2015 now just before we get underway of course these trade setups are taken directly out of the day traders fast track program and our daily target is $400 a day per contract if you haven't already done so if you go to full screen because it will just make it a little easier for you to look at the setups as I point them out on the screen and of course if you haven't already done so please ensure that you read our disclaimer because there's always risk in trading so let's go directly to the charts so if we consider the best of the best trading opportunities the very best of course uh, for consistency particularly for a new trader are the trend trades trading with the trend and as we're aware we use the 34 EMA our yellow line here for trend direction now when we start to see the 34 level out along with the uh, 89 and even the foot the 200 and our blue line is our weight this is an area we want to start to be fairly concerned but when we see a leveling out of the moving averages quite often it's a very good early indication that we are going to have a, a change in trend now what we did see here at this point we saw a nice double top actually I'm jumping ahead sorry traders we'll go down here just here we had a, uh, a nice t1 went up there we formed a double top if you like come down we bounced off the moving averages again and we ended up with a triple top and away the market fell now one of the greatest challenges for traders is to maximize our returns per trade and to do that and to stay in a trade longer we can use the 8 EMA it's an excellent simple indicator just the 8 EMA to keep us in a trade longer now my trading style is one of a scalper that is I usually have a set profit target now my profit target in 95 percent of the cases it's probably closer to 98 percent of the cases is a minimum of one to one that is if I'm trading the NQ the Nasdaq and my target is 40 or sorry my stop so you say 12 ticks my minimum target is 12 to 14 ticks as a minimum and most of you that watch me trade live now I've got a very very high strike rate but I focus on certain trade setups that I know really well now this particular chart we're looking at the ES now the ES has got the highest volume out of all markets globally uh, as far as contracts go uh, you've now I've got to be careful what I say there because the euro stock x50 the European market has some great volume there as well so I tend to prefer most of the time trading the NQs because I tend to find I get better waves however you've got incredible volume uh, on the ES now also with the ES it's $50 per point and it trades in 0.25 percent increments so $25 sorry $12.50 increments so 4 by 12.50 is $50 so my stop wants to be a minimum of one tick under my little swing low so as an example if I was to enter this short here being a t7 and we can see here at that stage here it actually would have looked like a t10 setup and let me just mark that up for you just there okay my stop would have been a minimum of one tick preferably two ticks above that little swing high now it went up there and it tested it to the tick here and then it fell away really well now I wanted to mark this up and just show you how effective the t25s can be in a nice trendy market so what do we do to confirm the trend we look at our 34 the brown line by the way is what I call the trigger line 8 and that can be a really nice indicator to use along with the EMA 8 as far as the crossover and we'll look at more of that in a moment but on the t25 you had a nice entry one tick below there so you were in there you had another trade entry there you could have got in there but 
one thing with that particular trade look at the 8 EMA it's starting to go sideways then we had here we had another t25 entry here now you may say okay samurai what about that one because the 8 EMA is sideways yes but notice my white candle bar and what have I got down the bottom here I've got a rollover we've got a perfect t2 setup so I've got a lovely t2 there another lovely t2 there and a t2 uh, right here as well all winners so to stay in some of those trades you can trail behind the 8 EMA our blue line and wait until you get a definite close over the 8 EMA so moving right along what I will do now is just rescale this okay we uh, had a, a lovely 200 uh, bounce another 200 bounce and some fantastic divergence now with the 200 bounces uh, and the double top we've got here when they're with the trend they're an incredibly high probability trade they're just a fantastic trade uh, to take now what is giving us our, our indication here well what we can see here of course is that our 8 EMA has gone up so is our 34 but look at our 200 and look at our 89 we're still in a strong downtrend so you still want to be taking your trades to the short side also what have we got here because my long-term st um, stoke is under the 80 level and I've got a rollover here that makes a very very nice t10 and away the market collapses it collapses away beautifully down here this particular trade ended up being a if I remember correctly a, a t89 here you've got a, a very very nice and you could have got in here as well a nice uh, t2 now this is where if your stop was only one tick you would have been stopped out here above your high but then it only ticked down four or five ticks and away it went until we got that bounce so that if you had have traded that traders that would have been I would say for most of you a losing trade now the other thing to remember here is that if this market is moving too fast because the price action we can see here is say over here this is 909 this is 937 so you've got around what's at around 30 minutes of price action you really want to be what I call on your toes you want to be really ready to move fairly quickly here now if it is too fast particularly for a newer trader and I have to say um, uh, with this sort of market and even with the NQ most of you know I'm usually doing market orders just because of the speed of the market and the way I trade now you had a nice 200 bounce here so well, sorry I didn't complete what I was going to say here moving too fast go to a 1500 or 2000 volume now I know a very very successful trader also that what he does he solely trades a 1000 volume but uses the 500 volume for his entry now that works really well for him and his main stay for his trend direction is the 34 EMA one thing I want you to start to notice here is is when you start to get these higher lows now you see we had one we come down we tested it we got a nice double bottom here and we had another high low and away the market runs and you can see here that worked out to be a, is a, a lovely t10 so just really keep an eye on those now what I've got here is uh, another two 200 bounces you can see down we've come down and bounced off our 200 EMA and here we've got another t7 with divergence in the direction of the trend these are highly profitable trades traders now let's just quickly talk about the divergence trades we had one right here a divergence trade diver but then be very aware that when you come down and bounce on the, these longer term moving averages you'll bounce off off them nine out of ten times so be very very cautious and remember when you take a divergence trade ideally you want to make sure that you've got angulation that is the price action is moving right away from your moving averages you don't want to have a channel formation as you can pretty much see uh, here if I was to draw uh, let me just just do this for a moment and let's just do a parallel line oops okay let me just move that up look at that there I've got virtually a perfect channel 
this is not what you want to see when you're when you decide to actually take a counter trend trade and the reason being it stays within that that channel the other thing you want to watch for is that whoops when you're uh, trading these is to make sure that um, uh, where were we back here is to really keep a count on the amount of waves that you've got in this new trend one two three okay so you've had three and look what happens then you could almost say that's a fourth one there and actually actual fact that's a t2 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 well there's three there and then the market fails at least temporarily so remember keep a trade count and write that down on your trade sheet and hopefully you've been taking notes as I'm running this uh, little recording so uh, make sure that you keep a tally of the trades because after three trades you really want to be extra cautious the other thing here is notice how a long-term stochastic is now staying below the 80 line it's a really good indication and then it forms by the way a t10 which I'll come to in a moment that there's a good chance that you're going to have a change in trend now what's wrong with this t10 well look at this here you're so close to the 89 and the 200 you'll see it regularly but what you've got here is a bit of a bump it bounced up before finally if I remember correctly it collapsed away and let's just have a look at that there yes you had um, a lovely double top there and then finally it fell away you can see there you can see right at that point there you had a t20 you had another t20 you had another t20 and then you had another t20 so what I'm going to do is wrap this video up and I'll do another recording and we'll travel or we'll cover a little more on this market